On today's episode, Anthony reviews the Steel Series rival gaming mouse and determines whether it can help you take your gameplay to the next level. Thank you so much. I appreciate you and I appreciate our audience. Today I want to talk to you about the Steel Series rival optical mouse. This mouse is a great mouse for average everyday use. It's not necessarily like an MMO mouse or anything like that, however it does have some stats worth bragging about. 6500 CPI rated for 300 million clicks. That's a lot of clicking! I feel like I should go play cookie clicker with this mouse. It's got a 1 millisecond response on it, 200 IPS, and 50 G's of force. If you don't know what those numbers mean, don't feel bad. I didn't at first either. I had to Google it, which I suggest you do the same, especially if you're in the market for a mouse. This is the unit that we will be looking at today. This is what the packaging looks like all the way around and on the inside. This is a beautiful package, which is why I'm about to go do an unboxing on the Geek Channel. The mouse itself comes with about a six foot cord, which is phenomenal for a mouse. A lot of times you'll find that mice you know, they just don't come with a long enough cord. It is USB connected. It's not one of those weird PS slash 2 thingies. So that's great. Also, rubber grips or rubberized plastic grips all the way around for a really good, comfortable, smooth feel. It is ergonomically designed, which means that it fits, well, my palm perfectly. Hopefully yours as well. On the sides, you'll find that it's got a really good gripped pattern on it, and that is rubber, so it allows you to grip the mouse and keep a hold of it. So even if you're, I don't know, playing League of Legends while eating pizza, really greasy pizza, you'll still be able to grab your mouse and when it counts. As far as buttons on the mouse, you have your standard left, right, and middle button, as well as this one up here. You also have browsing buttons back and forth um, for browsing the internet or whatever. Uh, you can also bind these in many games to do other things like, let's say, I don't know, you're playing a lot of League of Legends lately. Uh, you can actually bind these to be able to cast your slash J, which is your joke, or your slash D, which is your dance, or other spells if you really want to do that. The feet on the mouse are extremely slick, which helps with your response time. Um, overall, I love this mouse. I put it into about 8 to 10 hours worth of play time playing League of Legends. This isn't really a feature, however, the nameplate at the back that says Rival, you can actually take it out and put in one that says Steel Series. My question to you is, do you know of anywhere that will allow you to print your own nameplate for Steel Series mice? That would be awesome! Also, one of the things that caught me off guard is the fact that this mouse, in fact, does glow. Now, I don't mean like glow in the dark. There is a light at the back of this design here, uh, and it will glow orange. For those of you interested, if you don't like orange, yes, you can change it to blue, yellow, all kinds of different colors from the spectrum of rainbows and whatnot. If you have any experience with this mouse, or any mice like it, let us know in the comment section down below. And yeah, I'd love to have a conversation with you about it. What do you think about this mice? What do you think about gaming mice in general? Do you think they're worth the slightly higher price tag? Again, let us know down there. This mouse retails for anywhere around $45 to $60, depending on where you buy it. And to be honest with you, I think it's worth it. Overall quality of this mouse, I would put it at about an 8.5. I don't really have any major gripes about the mouse, however there are a couple of things that I see that I would have personally done different, but then again I'm not the one who designed it. To all of you budding tech reviewers out there, this was a review unit from SteelSeries, and all it took was a well-worded email to get it. Keep that in mind. Sometimes it's not about who you are or what you have, but how professional you are. That's my time for today. Bye guys. If you have any experience with this mouse, or any mice like it, let us know down in the comment section down below. I said down twice. If you have any experience with this mouse, I just hit myself. As far as buttons on the mouse, I, I promise it's easy to hold on to. I just can't do it right now. It's really easy to hold on to, I promise.